Welcome to another crystal trap baby video for y'all. And this is my level 5 trap. And I wanted to trap that worthy prince guy so badly. I invited him for coffee. And all I got was like a burning base and smiley faces. Mm, not good, bros. <laughs> What's going on guys, it's your boy Worthy Prince coming at ya with another Lord's Mobile video and I stole all of Chris the Trap's coffee and it looks like he sent an assassin after me to come and get it. Well, we'll just have to, just have to wait and see if John Wick is up to the challenge and if he can come back and take this coffee and here we go with the hit and it's milk and cookies but it's no coffee so unfortunately Chris you will not be getting your coffee back on this occasion <laughs> anyway let's get to the battle report and see what John Wick sent when he fouled his assassination on me <laughs> so let's click in here and I hope you guys are all doing good I'm doing fantastic and we're gonna get to the overlord stuff very soon but first let's have a look at 36,000 red deads ouch my 3,900 wall went down again. One day, maybe it will stay up. Who knows? Maybe I need to give the wall some of Chris's coffee. It may work then. Anyway, you can see that we've got some wounded T3, a little bit of red T3 as well. This isn't going to hurt him too much. I'm sure he'll come bouncing back from this. And John Wick, stay away, my friend. I don't want no more assassinations from you. Okay guys, so now that you got your trap fixed, we can get to the main feature of the video, which is my little baby trap here, becoming the overlord of Kingdom 373. Now, just before we get there, I'm sure you heard the uh, little cameo there from Chris the Trap at the beginning in the introduction. If you have not checked out Chris the Trap's YouTube channel, make sure you do. He's got some fantastic content over there. And if you look in the description below, you'll find his YouTube link to go over to there and hit that subscribe button. Anyway, let's move straight on now to the main reason we're here and that's to talk about the fact that I'm now Overlord. Now the reason I wanted to tell you about this is because some players might not have got this far and become Overlord and know exactly what kind of features and responsibilities you get in that role. So that's exactly what we're going to do right now. Now you can see the castle in front of me, little Mr. Tech Tech here has got a little engineer title on. That means that he's going to be getting a construction boost. And if I click on him, you can see on the left hand side, it comes up with the assign title button. Now if I click on this, I have the option of granting him various different boosts, or if he's been bad, I can give him some negative titles. So what we can do is we can switch him over now to Felon and make every single march he sends out 15% slower. <laughs> And that's one of the really good features you get. One of, the, one of the big titles you would have seen a lot would have been the clown title because a lot of rally leaders and attackers tend to put that on their target to give them a bit of an advantage. Um, and also the general title as well for the positive boosts. Now as an overlord you get some very very good boosts. If I go into my stats now you can see that I get a 10% army attack, 10% army defense and a 10% HP boost, which is better than some gold gear. <laughs> so, you know, it's a really good boost being Overlord. Now, some of the other benefits you do get are actually located in the base. Now, you may have already clicked on the base in your kingdom and seen some of these things, but don't know exactly what they do, and that's exactly what we're going to go through now. So, if I click on the base, you can see I've got various different titles down the right-hand side. The first one being the Vasal Titles. Now, that's exactly what I just went through with you regarding the positive boosts and the negative boosts. The second is the message. Now, this is the Kingdom message that I can send out to every single player in the game. It comes up in their guild chat. You may have seen it already um, and the Kingdom chat. As you can see from my message, I'm opening up the forts this World of War of Wonders so that even small guilds get the chance to fight for them. Because I think it's important that all guilds get to enjoy all the game mechanics. I know too many overlords kind of hog everything and don't let anybody kind of play. I'm not like that, but then not everyone's like me. So, But that's what I'm going to be doing this time around, giving everyone a chance. You then go down to the enhance section. Now with this, I can give the whole kingdom a really nice 10% boost. And that can be on construction, research, or training. Now, I can do this every 24 hours, but unfortunately, it doesn't come free. It costs 1,200 gems to give a building boost. It costs um, 1,800 gems to give a research boost. And if we go down to training speed, it gives 2,250 gems. 
I've actually given two construction boosts, a research boost, and a training speed boost this week, so the kingdom's done pretty well by me this week to be fair. Next you have the rewards. These are the chests you can give to your guild once you actually complete on the base and actually take control of it. You get one glory chest, comes with a nice amount of speed ups and some gems, which is nice, and you can give that to your rally leader or someone that took major damage, help them reheal, help them, you know, get themselves back up to strength. One thing you can't do is give these chests to yourself as overlords, so there's no selfishness going on. Secondly, we've got a Valor chest, this gives you some gold and some gems. Next one you get 5 honor chests which give you gold and some gems to give out. And then you get 20 appreciation chests, you know, just to appreciate your guild a bit. You get some RSS and you get some more gems. Now the last feature you get as overlord is the pardon. This allows you to free every single prisoner. So if you want to do an Abe Lincoln and free everyone, you can go ahead and do it. Um, you only get to do it once, so use it sparingly. Most overlords will tend to save it in case they lose their leader attacking someone. But again, remember guys, only once per time that you become overlord. So again, use that sparingly. Anyway guys, that's most of the features. The other thing is you get the forts themselves. I'm sure you know if you click on them, they give an individual boost, whether it's infantry attack or cavalry defense. You have to take that fault and complete on it so the shield goes over to get that for the whole time of the uh, that it's closed, so five days for your whole guild. So you get those as well, which is really, really nice. One of the other things, the last thing I do notice as Overlord is the amount of messages I get. I probably get about 50 to 60 messages a day asking me all sorts of questions, including Majara, Majaraja, you are the one, and Super King, and please can you be in my guild, and please can I join you, you are all powerful, and one other one which asked if I wore odd socks, which I thought was actually quite strange. <laughs> Anyway guys, on that note, we'll leave it right there. Hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, stay safe and peace out. Ah, oh, now that's over, a nice cup of Chris's coffee. That's exactly what I need right now. Hey, what's that? Hello, anyone there?